hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting adobe audition tutorial and in this tutorial we will talk about the ambience control inside the essential sound panel we have covered the rest of these uh, uh, controls dialogue music sfx now the ambience control is remaining we will cover this and then in the next tutorial we will start talking about a new topic in adobe audition okay the first control in here is loudness Defend uh, ending on your version which version you are using it might be loudness or unified loudness okay uh, but both do the same thing let's hear this music first of all and remember it's the video one now when we apply the auto match it has reduced it significantly you know it is reduced it by negative 18.53 dBs that is a lot of drop why is it reduce it so much because it's ambient ambience is the background noise you know the people talking on a railway station or stuff like that when two person for example it's a scene like that or the winds in the background or the thunder in the background and other stuff like that or the music in a bar background sound is not supposed to be as loud as the dialogues or the sound music or the special effects those things are supposed to be in the forefront and background should music should be low and it should be in the background that's how you create uh, ambience sound effects in your uh, projects and stuff like that that's why it is reduce its level so much by clicking this automation okay now let's go to creative control creative control again in just like in the uh, dialogue and ambient uh, music category controls of essential sound panel it also uh, does the same job here it just reverbs and by applying studio reverb but it has just one more effect in here preset in here which is the wind effect i'm gonna apply it and if you can judge the effect i'm gonna shut the loudness off Well, it's more of a you know experimentation and personal preference uh, reverb. You know, uh, reverbs might be a little bit used. You know, in uh, ambience and uh, as I told you in the last uh, tutorial in the sound effects, but uh, most of the time there is not that much use for this control or reverbs, uh, uh, or at least not on this plain level. If they are used, they are used from this effect here and. And these uh, panels are adjusted a lot more and refined and fine tuned before they are applied to it. But as a whole, this creative panel uh, control does uh, it applies a reverb to your sound effect or your soundtrack. The stereo with its uh, new uh, effect or control that you might not have encountered in the past tutorials. What it does once we apply it, it applies the stereo expander effect. And if you like this to do effect once, it's a, a effect that you might then start to use on everything. You know, it is widely used in the pop music or pop music industry. You know, uh, what it does this effect is that it uses phase adjustment to separate the left and right channels in your you know sound system and stuff like that i'm gonna play it so that you can hear the difference and i'm gonna turn off the reverb if you notice the effect that it uh, focused uh, uh, once the music on the left and then on the right it's not like painting that uh, shifts the sound just totally towards left and right speakers but it uh, you know adjusts it with the phase adjustment and uh, he, it does this by narrowing its range and widening its range you know people when start using this uh, effect and when they apply it and yeah, apply it in the right way it uh, makes their sound or soundtrack sound much more better than than usually it is it makes it really special you know so do play with this and experiment with it and uh, try to tell me in the comment section that if you like it or not 
okay the volume control in here uh, does the same thing it did in the last few controls uh, it applies the R limiter R limiter is the effect that puts a limit on the maximum amplitude level that okay uh, beyond this maximum amplitude level no sound can or their frequency can go higher or their volume can go higher than that so that's what uh, the volume control does in essential sound panel so that's it guys we have covered all the controls in the essential sound panel and as i said we will be starting a new uh, topic in the next tutorial uh, until then i take my leave from you guys and hope to see you in the next tutorial until then goodbye